vlogmas day seven sorry i totally missed day six um i actually put like i had like two three minute videos that i had intended to put together for day six and then i just completely forgot i literally forgot all about it i was so busy yesterday um my husband and i what did we do so we went to costco and i got my laptop. I actually bought the last one in the specific brand or whatever it was that the one I wanted. Um, so I bought the last one. So that was kind of cool because, <laughs> because earlier during that day in Costco, um, we were waiting for our flu shots. So we, we decided to get our flu shots while we were there. And, um, I opted to wait before purchasing and, you know, getting the the laptop and luckily by the time we were done and then I went and purchased the laptop and collected it the lady was like oh this is our last one so I was like yes so um so we had our flu shots I'm so sore in this arm um and then we grabbed lunch while we were there we we're like let's just get like cheap hot dogs and just eat and then we um went home and I think like that was I think that was like it for the major things that we did yesterday was like it was just busy with the Costco thing oh we ran a couple other errands my husband wanted to get something for work and um and so I was waiting for him with that and so just we were kind of like all over the place and then um we got back home and by the time we got back home it was around four and it just felt like it was even later because it gets so dark so soon now and so when it's like super dark already by four or five it's like your whole day is done like you just feel like your whole day is done and it gets cold up here and so we just kind of bundled up in the house and we watched um we watched some tv and then i think like literally you guys i think i went to sleep around 10 30 at night like that's really early for me my usual nap time bedtime is um like usually around midnight like i'm i'm that one i'm that person that sleeps in that sleeps late i go to sleep late so going to bed at 10 30 and i literally like knocked out um because i remember i woke up like at 2 a.m and i was just like i felt like it was 6 a.m but it was only 2 a.m <laughs> so that's how i knew i'm like okay I, I went to bed really early um so yeah and then Hubs and I are going to make our way over to um, Bath and Body Works because they're having their candle sale today, and I don't know how chaotic it's going to be. I called, I called the store just to get their hours, and they were actually open at four in the morning. So if the fact that they were open at four a.m. just tells you that they are prepared for craziness. Um, so I told him I would like to go. I would love to pick up a couple candles because I got some of the candles for fall. That was when I was like burning my leaves one and then I got that pumpkin cupcake. So I'm like, I would love to have some Christmas scented candles to have in the house, but we're going to do a flyby and if it's insane, um, then I'm not going to bother. But if it is like, if it looks doable, then I'm going to jump off and... <laughs> and collect some candles. So the candles are on sale for like $9 and 50 cents. So pretty much you can get two for $20, um, which is a deal because I think originally they're originally priced at like, I don't know, 18 bucks. Like, I don't know, they're, they're pretty expensive and it's the three wick candle. So it's those bigger ones. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're going to do right now is just do a flyby, see if I can pick up some candles and, um, and see how that goes. I need to get a pair of leggings from Torrid, but I don't think Torrid's even open right now. Like the rest of the mall doesn't open till later unless they have their holiday hours going, but I'm usually not a mall person, so I don't usually know what the hours are. Um, but if Torrid's open, then maybe I can slide on over there because the store is literally like right next door. <laughs> 
slide on over there, pick up a pair of black leggings, and I always like to have a backup pair of leggings because as you guys know, when you have like that chub rub, when your thighs are rubbing together, you get those like those little manchas and then they turn into little holes. So I'm like, I'm going to, I always like to have a backup pair of leggings, especially during the, the winter season because I live in leggings when I'm in the house. I live in them when I go to work at times and so it's just nice to have an extra pair. So I'm gonna do that and then um, I gotta really, really, really do my, my Christmas shopping. Like I, I'm just getting stuff for my sister, my mom, and my dad, so it's really easy. But um, if I could pick up a candle for my sister and my mom, then that's like one thing off the list. Um, I'm doing like little stocking stuffers for them this year. So the big, the major gift is just gonna be money so they could use it for whatever they want. Um, but then I wanted to get like a couple little things, so I figured a candle would be kind of cool because they both like candles, so that would be cool. And I wanna be able to ship my, my sister's gift off by Tuesday so that it can get there in time for Christmas, so yeah. So anyways, um, <laughs> Um, so yeah, I just want to get all my Christmas shopping done ASAP. I don't like Christmas shopping. I don't like it hanging over my head. I'm not a, a shopper for people. Like I just suck at it. I feel like I just suck at shopping for other people. Um, <laughs> so I always try to keep my Christmas shopping very minimal, like just to the, just minimal to the, the, the main people in my life. Um, for that reason, like I sound like a little Grinch, I don't expect gifts from people. I don't even expect anything from my hubby. Like I told him, don't get me anything. Don't worry about it. Like we share the money, it's fine. So I'm just different. I guess I'm just different. Like some people love the whole gift exchanging and like buying gifts for one another, but I'm, I've never been that person. I've never been that person. So I just recently started getting more into Christmas, but before that I was like, eh. Christmas just wasn't my favorite holiday. Um, so anyways, that's what I'm doing this morning and I'm just hoping that it's not crazy. So we shall see. Walking towards it. Yeah, that's how you have like the Everything's all closed. You can't see anything. Hello? Okay guys, so we finished candle shopping and record time. It only took us 30 minutes. There's my bag. We bought how many candles? Nine. No, no, <gasps> ten. We bought ten candles, you guys. My Christmas shopping is complete. Oh, you guys. Do I have the haul of hauls for you? So, I'm going to show you guys the candles that I bought today at Bath & Body Works. <laughs> now, I was going to make this its own video, but... Um, I'm, I figured since I need to put a Vlogmas video out today, I'm just gonna mix it into the Vlogmas because this is probably the biggest thing that I'm doing today other than that I'm just gonna be cooking and doing a client reading. So nothing else, fun and fantastic. So I have a big ass bag. <laughs> um, Vlogmas, this is a Christmas related thing for Vlogmas, so that's kind of cool since all my other ones have been just kind of me talking and really boring and I apologize. Um, so Bath and Body on December 7th, Bath and Body did a, is doing a candle craze where all of their three wick candles are on sale for $9.50. Originally priced $24. That is more than half the price. So, Everybody goes crazy for candles because <laughs> these candles, like the three wick candles, are really, really good, and they're 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 my favorite. Um, three wick candles just have stronger scent. They last for a long time. They smell amazing, and they're big candles. They look pretty when you put them out when you're like having guests over, or if you put one in the bathroom. They're just really sweet and really pretty. 
But <laughs> if you also get the, the, like the holiday themed candles, they smell so good. So, um, <laughs> so when they go on sale like that, um, I like to have a little bit of a fun shopping spree. Um, and then also it's Christmas season. So it's like, why not buy Christmas gifts at the same time? You get a sale, buy gifts. Everyone loves candles. Why not? So I went this morning with the intention of obviously getting candles for myself because I love to have them, but also for my mother-in-law, my mom, my sister, my sister-in-law, and my, I don't know what I would call her, but I guess it would be like my brother-in-law's girlfriend. So, <laughs> so five people, there's five people to shop for, including myself. Um, and I bought 10 candles, so spent a hundred bucks and got 10 candles. All of the Christmas gifts for those lovely gals are, are good. So that's nice to know, like the, the Christmas shopping is pretty much done unless we add like a, a gift card or something. So that's cool. Um, but let's get into it. Let me just show you guys the candles. Some of them are repeats because I love the scent too much. But yes. Okay. So this one is called the Hot Cocoa and Cream Candle. Oh, it's hot chocolate, like hot chocolate with some cream. And I was like, I loved it because it had the cute little kitty. So cute. So the cute little kitty. Um, the lid ha is really cute. It's like kind of a, a goldish color. It has little Christmas trees. But hot cocoa and cream. This one is, this is one of the ones that I bought for myself. <laughs> um, next is the peppermint marshmallow. This is another one that I bought for myself. Ugh. I freaking love it. I think this is one that I bought for myself. I think everyone else's is in the bottom. It's just, it smells like peppermint. It's, well, it smells like pepper. It is peppermint and marshmallow scent. So it has like a sweet kind of a scent, but it also has like that minty, that minty scent as well. I love it. And I really thought that the, I thought this one was so cute because it has like a little shimmer in it, some glitter. And then the lid has a cute like little, it looks like a little gingerbread kind of a design. I love pretty packaging, as you guys know. Pretty packaging is my thing. These are more of like the, <clears throat> more of the boring lids. Like I was gonna be that person to go and like put one of the other lids on top just to be that person, but I decided not to do that because there was a little bit too many people around and I don't want people getting pissed off. This one smells really good. This is Winter Candy Apple. Oh, this is also another one I bought for myself. Um, it has a very sweet candy kind of a, a scent, but it's like fresh too at the same time. So it, it just smells like winter. It smells like winter to me. So it has like a florally freshy kind of a apple scent, but also sweet like candy. I, that's the best way I can, I can explain it. Oh, I love it. So those are mine. This one's my my hubby. He wanted this one. So he said, he bought two. He bought one for himself and then he really liked this one. So I was like, okay, fine, we'll take it. So this is Black Cherry Merlot. Um, I actually like the way it smells. Oh, I'm handing it to you guys like as if you could smell it. But um, Black Cherry Merlot, it has like a, like a fruity wine smell. Really like it. And it's pretty too. It's like a purple a purple jar. <laughs> so he was like, I like that one. Let's get it. And I'm like, okay, fine. And then when we were shopping, like they give you guys these trays, which I could see how this could be appropriate because you could put the candle in it, but it made it really hard to like carry this around. And like when you had all six of them full, it was freaking heavy. So I recommend if you go to the candle thing, which by the time you watch this, it'll probably be over. But my recommendation is bring hubby with you bring a friend, <laughs> bring muscle with you um, so that they could carry your shit while you're shopping because if you're like me, I like to buy a lot and 10 of these babies are really heavy. <laughs> and this just isn't, this is just, how are you supposed to carry this around and like smell the candles, you have to open the lids and stuff. Like it just wasn't practical. So I just, I had to put my little two cents in there. Um, okay, so the next batch. So here's the next six. Um, these are the, the ones I, I bought as gifts. So, um, another one. Okay, so this is another peppermint marshmallow. This one is for my sister-in-law. I just, I like the way it smells. It smells so cool. So I got that one for her. 
And then this one's from my mother-in-law. Tis the season. Hey, all hyper. Tis the season, just a basic red candle. Oh, but it has like that cinnamon apple spice kind of a scent. Really delicious. So that one I got from my mother-in-law. Um, this one I got for my brother-in-law's girlfriend, creamy nutmeg. So it's like a literally like like a chocolatey goodness. Oh, it smells good, but it's like when you smell like the other scent, it kind of overpowers. Yeah, it smells good. It's just after a while, like after a while, everything starts to smell the same. But I got this one for some reason. Like my intuition was telling me this would be a good one for her. I don't know her too well to know like what scent she would like, but. I was going based off what my intuition told me. So my intuition told me this one for the sister-in-law. And then my intuition told me, um, for some reason, this chocolatey one, I feel like she'll like it. So I hope she likes it. <laughs> we'll see. Um, that's why I get nervous buying gifts for people because I always like doubt my ability to decide. And it's just like I overthink it. And when I overthink it, just it's just a disaster. Okay, so... I actually bought two red velvet, one for my sister and one for my mom, because I know my sister, she would love this, this scent. Oh, and I, I know my mom, she'll probably like it too. So I bought my mom one as well, the red velvet. It's very sweet, um, like it smells like baking and it could be overwhelmingly sweet, but I feel like when you have it on and then like the whole house smells like you're baking, it just smells really good. Some people don't like that, but I like it. I think it's I think it smells good. And I had my candle lit like that at the house and my mom liked it. So hopefully she'll like that scent. And then this is the one that my, that my husband bought for himself. They had more of like man scents, I guess. And this is mahogany teak wood high intensity. It smells like men cologne, literally. So literally smells like a man cologne. Like, oh, like they just got out of the shower and they smelled delicious. So it smells good. So this one will be nice to have in the house just to kind of like have a different kind of a scent going than like more of the sweet scents that I like because I like the sweet ones. Um, but this one is, this one actually smells really good. <sighs> like my husband doesn't wear cologne and I wish he did because I like when a man smells good. I mean, he smells good. Like I'm not saying he stinks or anything, but... If he wore cologne, it would be even more exciting. And <laughs> this is just like, this is that smell. <sighs> okay, sorry, I gotta stop. <laughs> so that is, those are all the candles that I bought from Bath and Bed, Bath and blah, 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 Bath and Body. Um, I got the email super early this morning about the candle sale and I almost forgot about it. So luckily I checked my email. The store opened at four in the morning, you guys, and I was like, holy shit, if they're opening at 4 a.m., then they know they're gonna have crazy lines and crazy amount of people. Well, I live in the desert and there's not a lot of people up here like there is down below. So <laughs> so I don't know what their 4 a.m. looked like, but when my husband and I left, we, we left the house at eight. Um, and when we got there, there wasn't a line waiting. Like they had the, they had the front of the store marked off for people to wait in line to get inside and there was nobody in line so we just walked right in um and so and that was at eight o'clock in the morning um so i'm sure later on in the morning like later on in the day as you go the lines will probably be crazy but the fact that we were able to just get up at our normal time and go and not wait in line was nice as opposed to if we lived down the hill, it would have been a different story. Like there would have been crazy lines. So that's one plus of living in the middle of the desert. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited. I love the fact that I have candles. I have little gifts now to give to my family. And um, this one I have to mail out to my sister. So I'm probably gonna have to do the, um, the large uh, flat rate box and stick the sucker in there and then put her little stocking like I bought her a stocking and um, I'm just gonna stuff it with like candy and probably a gift card or, or just give her cash so she can buy herself whatever she wants I'm like that like I like gifts but if I don't know what I want to spend on the person I'd rather just give them money so that they can go buy whatever they want or need you know so I think I'm just gonna do that just get a card 
stuff the money in there for my sister and then let her decide what she wants. But I know what, what like snacks and like little you know munchies that she likes. So I'll probably just stuff the candy box, <laughs> stuff the box with candy and whatever, and then add her candle. And that's her gift. So really easy. And then I have to, I want to mail it out by Tuesday <coughs> because she lives on the East Coast. This way she'll have it in time for Christmas. So, so yeah, I'm excited. I love the fact that I know that I have Christmas gifts now for people. <laughs> I don't have to worry. Um, like I was talking about earlier, Christmas is, as, I've, as I'm getting older, Christmas is starting to grow on me more, but I was never a Christmas person in my early 20s. I was just like, ugh. I was just not of that holiday. Um, but as I get older, I think now that I have my own place, I could have my own tree, decorate it my own way because my mom was like super strict and picky about her decorations. So now that I have my own space and to do my own thing, it's a little bit easier for me to celebrate in my own way and in my own flavor. <laughs> So I have a little bit more of an excitement and appreciation for the holiday season. Um, but I'm telling you guys, like gift giving, I get nervous about it. Like, I just feel like I suck when it comes to gifting for people. And then I just, I worry so much about them hating their gift or like not getting the right thing or making a mistake. You know, I just stress over stupid shit. And so <laughs> I'm just glad that candles is easy. Like who doesn't like a candle? Um, the only thing I'm worried about is that is my mom gonna like the scent That's the only thing so but whatever She has no choice <laughs> I've smelled some of the other stuff she has going on in the house So she has sweet stuff, so I think she'll like it Um, so anyways you guys I just wanted to share with you my haul I hope you enjoyed it. I know you guys like to watch those kind of videos, so I hope you enjoyed it um, the rest of today, I'm literally just going to do a client reading. I have one reading on my agenda. Ooh, my nose. I have one reading to do. Um, probably going to cook like an early dinner today for Hubs so he can eat before he goes to work. And then I think I'm just going to watch Netflix. Like I want to just kind of watch a Christmas movie and curl up on the couch tonight. So I'm going to try to get the, the tarot readings done earlier and, um, and just relax. Literally, just relax. I don't have anything else to do. So looking forward to that. Just like to relax and enjoy the day off. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this, post the, the vlog, and hope you guys enjoy the haul. Bye loves. <laughs>